Hey guys, welcome back to the e-commerce with Golang project series. And as promised, today we'll be working with some database functions. But before we go any further, let's go ahead and say go mod tidy to get and import all the packages in the background so that some of the squiggly lines will at least go away, right? Okay, so now uh, in our cart.go file, what we need to do is we need to start working on our add product to cart function, okay? This takes in context, which is context dot context comma, takes in your product collection and uh, takes in your user collection, which is mongo dot collection. And it takes in your product ID. primitive dot object id comma your user id which is simply string so your product collection and your user collection are both type of mongo dot collection okay and returns an error all right so before we add anything to the cart uh so before you add the product to the cart, you want to search from DB. Let's search the product collection. And you want to find product with that ID. So let me tell you what's happening here. This um, function add product to cart also takes in the product ID, right? The product ID is required to add something to the cart, right? Because the product will have an ID and you want to add that particular ID uh, product to the cart. So firstly, you will have to get that uh, product from the database. And this is how you do it. You get it from product collection, which is of type Mongo collection. You get the product uh, with that product ID and Okay, so now that you have found that uh, product from the database, you wanna also check for the error because any database related function will might lead to an error. So you wanna say if error is not equal to nil, log.print ln, you'll print out the error and you'll return can't find product. So this is the beauty of defining <laughs> the errors beforehand. You can just call that error and return that particular error, okay? This is how pros do it. Yeah. So let's define a variable called product cart and stuff type models dot product user. So it's a slice of type models dot product user. Now let's take a look at product user. So it has a product ID, product name, price, rating, and image, okay? So now let's go back to our cart.go and let's say search from db which is this all the products out here uh, sorry that particular product with that particular id out here so search from db dot all you want to say ctx dot product cart okay and if error is not equal to nil, log dot print ln error again, and you'll say can't decode decode products. After that, you'll say primitive dot object id from hex using the user id and i'll capture that uh, id in this id variable again we'll handle the error so we'll say error is not equal to nil again log dot print an error return error user id is not valid this one And now comes the database-related work. So what do you have to do? 
you have to create a filter variable. We'll be passing this filters, obviously, and then you'll have update. And there'll be something on the right side. But most importantly, you'll have user collection dot update one. To update that user's cart, you have to pass the context, the filter, and this update out here. So now let's work on filter and update. But here, um, while updating, you might get an error. So let's handle that error beforehand itself. So it's like error, it's not equal to mail. We will return error, can't update users. Okay. If everything went well, you'll just return nil for instead of the error. Now let's work on filter and update. So for filter, I'll say vson.d primitive dot e I have a key underscore id comma value is id and this update is bson.d you have key dollar push comma value bson.d primitive dot Key and here you'll have your key which is user cart and your user cart you'll have value Just make sure that this all the uh, brackets have been closed off correctly. Okay, so what's happening here? It's basically um, you have the ID because to update something you need the ID, and the ID here is the ID of the user. And for the user, you have uh, the product card. So every user has a product card, right? Which is of type models dot product users. Product user being uh, this struct. And if you see here, user cart is actually of type product user. Now there's a squiggly line here, that's because the spelling here is not correct. It should be product user. And uh, the product user here is basically your cart, right? Multi because it'll have multiple products and each product will have an ID, name, price, rating, image, etc. And all of them will form a slice which is going to be called your user cart. So now I'm hoping things look much clearer to you because that's why we created this product cart which is uh, slice of models dot product user and this is why we are updating that user because the cart we are storing the cart with the user collection so if you go here back again you'll notice that the cart itself is being maintained inside the user collection so this is why we use the user's id right and then we are going to basically take that user's cart and we're going to update that with the value product cart which is basically the product that we found using the ID from the product collection. So I hope this is clear. If it's not clear, please feel free to put it in the comments below and I'll quickly reply. Okay. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video and do subscribe to this channel because you get such awesome content, right?